my god. Oh. Like this is the best mod I could recommend to- Boy! about 7.23 on a beautiful Saturday. And uh, as you can see from the title of this video, we are getting the best mod put on today. So I am fucking pumped for that. It is this beautiful guy right here. Let's go. Yes, sir. If you guys know what that is, that is a Cybex all wheel drive controller that replaces the OEM stock black box we have sitting on our Haldex back there. And uh, that is going to improve performance all around. And I can't wait to demonstrate that for you guys, experience it for myself. So right now, I just wanted to give that intro and uh, I'm on my way to the shop. So you know what I mean? Let's get there. Update, I just waited 30 minutes in traffic and I'm going around it and this is what it is. My boy, come on, boy! Damn, learn! All right, guys, we made it. It's like 10 right now. It took us way longer than expected, but we are here at Pacific German and we're here to get the install done. All right guys, so the inside of Pacific German is pretty cool. Give you guys a little walk around. There's no one in here, so might as well. Get a nice little showcase. All kinds of the Euro goodies. And it's gonna come in like $10,000. We do have a nice little display. To work with, but a lot of that is Lots of Revo stuff here. To everything else. There are some options that we could literally do for three. The wheel is here. <laughs> My favorite part, low key, is the fish tank and this sign. That the Corrado for the sign, the logo. But check, check the fish tank, guys. This thing's an entire aquarium here. Super nice. Nice little fish window into the. Into the shop bay. Mm, actually, I'm a little bit parched. Grab me a little water. Thank you. So, I'm set up. They're about to get working on the car. Get that uh, iRos installed. Get the Haldex serviced. And I'm about to shop for some tires. So, we're just set up. I got the HD TV on in the background. Let's try to find something to replace those bald R triple eights in the back, huh? What do we get, boys? Slicks, tree tires. What are we getting? All right, guys, still waiting. I do have. Let me show you. I do got Chick Fil A on the way, and while I've been sitting here, I just burning a hole in my pocket. Literally about to do it. New radios, baby. The car needs tires, and we're going radials instead of running through another set of street tires. The R Triple Eights, they were cool, but they're not gonna they're not gonna bring us where we need to be, boys. So DR Twos on the way. Stay tuned. A Chick Fil A boys, let's go. All right, you guys, we just left Pacific German. I'm getting gas right now, paying uh, paying six dollars and ninety nine cents for a gallon. Um, this week's top trending games on shut Luke the hell TV. up. Um, yeah, let's go and take a look at what they did. I'll let you know what happened. So, you might not be able to tell, but they definitely lifted the front end of the car. It was tucking. I do plan on getting new tires. Like I said, I will be getting radials, so they are coming on here soon. Had to make some clearance for that. They took off the camber plates in the front, so now we're at a degree of camber instead of, you know, negative. And we got the rears, nothing happened. I'm just showing you the rear. Um, but what did happen in the rear, let's see if you guys can see under here. You're not gonna be able to see it, but we got a Cyvex controller on there. Oops, just hit you guys on the diffuser. 
but I got on a little bit. I want to save my reaction for when I actually can set up the camera and get some launches in, but I turned it to the left, which is front wheel drive mode only, and I got a little squirrely. So I got a little taste of it, didn't do much. I want to save my reaction for you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. I've been at Pacific German all day. I just filled up my car on accident. Oh no! Oh no! Damn it, I wanted not to put 91 in there. Fuck. I'm trying to put E in there, dude. I just wanted to get home. Fuck. Well, all right. I'm getting distracted, guys. I'll be back when I'm in town and um, I set up a video to make a review on this new install of the best mod for an Audi S3. Catch you later. Update, almost falling asleep in this traffic, man. Watching some Shark Tank, Australia. Oh yeah, go ahead, buddy, get in front of me. I wasn't here or anything. But, um, yeah, take a look at some buildings, guys. Take a look at my dirty windshield, and now this ugly ass FJ. We're 100 miles out. All right, you guys, as you can see, maybe you can't tell, but it is the next day. Um, last night I got home, it was too late. It was dark. I knew it wouldn't make for good filming, but I waited for you guys. I did not try out the Cyvex controller. It took me a lot. I really wanted to see how it felt. Um, I made sure it worked. I turned it all the way off and made sure I had no rear bias and made sure the front wheel was span and they did just so you know, in case they messed up on the install. But long story short, I waited going to get my reaction today. Um, let's get you guys with a cold start. And uh, let's just get right into the comparison. All right, y'all. So before we do this, I just want to show you what the setup looks like inside the car. So you kind of know what I'm talking about when I say I'm twisting it left, twisting it right. That's the knob. If you can see, that's the potentiometer they like to call it. Um, it's got a little dial you can kind of maybe see right on the top and you twist it You know you twist it left or you twist it right Right being more power to the rear and left being less power to the rear in the middle is supposed to be stock stock power to the rear so Just wanted to give you guys a little idea of what it looks like when I say all right I'm gonna turn it to the right. I'm gonna turn it to the left. Let's get to it. I'm excited. It should be fun all right, guys, this is taking me a little longer than planned to find a spot out here in Mexico, but for the sake of time, I'm going to just crank it all the way to the right, which is supposed to be the most power commanded to the rears possible. So we're gonna run that. And the draggy, of course, is acting funny. So hopefully the draggy works for it, if not, um, I'll still tell you how it feels. I'm put I put a little heat in the tires just now um, Just so we can you know kind of get an optimal optimal street launch All right, you guys potentiometer crank fully to the right Let's give it a launch. I Have bald tires in the back. I'm not sure how they're gonna hold up to this extra power, but we're about to find out Let's see what happens that was a good one. Oh my god that is noticeable sorry for the sun right in my face but oh my goodness all right you guys I turned around so the sun was in my face but that was noticeable I could feel the extra help from the back pushing you um, kind of like the video that inspired this was Adam from Van City Audi he explained how it's a more of a pull, a push sensation rather than a pull sensation, and I can attest to that. Um, I'm not sure my rear tires held up great with that extra power because I'll show you after I get out of here. 
my rear tires are gone. They're absolutely slicks, but they should be street tires. So once I get my radials in, I'm I, I'm just excited to try that out. I don't know. Um, I'm excited to show you guys a burnout. I will save that for another video, but this can do a burnout, let me tell you. I still need to practice, but once I get the Hoosiers on, um, it should be a whole new ball game. Um, sorry I could only get one good launch in. The streets of Mexico today are actually busy. I live deep, deep in the heart of Mexico and it is actually busy. So I will be at the drag strip in about two weeks and I will show you guys some times, some actual um, laser beam times, you know, straight from the slip. I'll read you guys some numbers and I'm, I'm really convinced that we are gonna see massive improvement. I'm convinced we are gonna be well into the tens. I don't wanna get too confident and let my hopes down, but I mean, I'm, I'm confident that this device is going to be all worth the while. This little box that replaces your stock one can possibly be the best mod that an S3 owner, Golf R owner, RS3 owner can buy because the difference it makes in a straight line is, is noticeable. And that on the track is going to correlate to a faster trap time. So with that being said, honestly guys, the Cyvex is not a cheap unit. You know, it, it's about it's about 1200 bucks, you know, plus if you can install it yourself. Um, I got it installed professionally. I could have done it myself, but I was already getting my car worked on for alignment and height adjustment. So I just had them do the installation as well, make it nice and clean. I know I'm pretty sloppy, so <coughs> definitely worth looking at guys. Long story short, if you're interested in any type of 60 foot gain, any type of more power to the rears, Cyvex Haldex controller, look into it. Like this is the best mod I could recommend to anybody with an MQB car, an RS3, S3, Golf R. This mod, even with a stock S3, I feel will change your quarter mile times drastically. So I'm excited to get out to the track, give this thing a shot, um, see what the numbers actually say. I, I could be wrong. I don't think I am. I've seen other videos. Um, I'm ready to see us get into the tens, boys. Um, it's gonna be an exciting track day. Two weeks out, we're gonna be at the track. Um, obviously I'll film, I'll show you guys the numbers of the difference from my last time at the track, 60 foot, eighth mile, trap time, whatever. I'll show you guys the now with the Cyvex controller, the height adjustment. And by the time we get to the track, we will have Hoosiers on. Right now, my R888s are smoked. Like, I'm gonna show you guys right now, but they are smoked. Um. All right guys, let me just show you what we're working with here. It's not pretty. That's why I ordered tires, but here it is. Yeah, I know. There's there's nothing left guys. There's it's almost wire. It's bad. Here's the other side. Damn! You know what I mean? So I don't know. The tires definitely didn't like the extra power back here. Overall, first impression on the Cybex. I love it. I feel the push rather than the pull. And um I don't know why I'm holding my hands like this. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, drop a comment, sub. I love you. Stay up, do good things. But um, who's your DR2 is coming? Should be a whole different story. Like I said, thank you guys for tuning in. Two more weeks is track day. I am gonna get another video about all the mods on my car in between this video and that video, so. Look out for that in case you're wondering what I even have done to this car to be running almost tens. Pretty much tens. Not not gonna get too confident. I'm thinking tens. I ran an 11.0 last time with a better 60 foot. I'm thinking we're tens. So that being said, guys, have a good week and let's go. Let's freaking go. I don't know why, but let's go. GG's.